My name is Jim Munford and I'm president of the Friends of Fairview. What we are doing, we are going through uh, the Fairview Cemetery, taking pictures at the scenes of, at the locations of some of the tombstones we're going to do for this year's Stories Behind the Stones, All Roads Lead to Silver Grove. This is put together by the Friends of Fairview or the Stories Behind the Stones uh, group, which each year, this is the eighth year we've done it, we do um, um, we do scenes and they are first person scenes or they're in personal scenes too sometimes, but we do scenes in which are part of New Albany's history and the past and we do it to help educate the people about things that have gone on in New Albany. Um, some of the people don't even know anything about their family and they come to our Stories Behind the Stones um, presentations and they learn something about their family that they did not know. And sometimes we find things they may not want to know. It's little mysteries. One thing you get into to, in a city of New Albany and there's lots of people who either moved here, moved away, or have forgotten what they've done, what their family has done in the past. And what it's good for is because as you get farther and farther away from the time in which your ancestor may have passed or may have done something, the memory of that happening goes away slowly, slowly, slowly until it's gone. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's so exciting to coming out here in this beautiful cemetery and reliving the history and hearing all the wonderful stories about everyone. Some good, some kind of questionable. <laughs> Come hear the stories. This is the stories of what happened right under your feet. You will see and relive the history of many of the people that found in New Albany, maybe even some of your old teachers. You're not only going to see great architecture in the monuments, but you're going to hear stories you never imagined, good and bad. Costumed as the undertaker, but what I really undertake are tours each night. And tell us about this, this event and how exciting this is and what, what do you bring to life? Actually, this is, is a, a wonderful event. We've been involved with it since the lead up to the bicentennial in 2013 to get ready to reintroduce the city to all of their long, long history now that we're 200 years old and five now. Um, so it starts with Scribner's, but it moves quickly to Woodward's and then on past, uh, oh, even to people like Horace Bell, who would have been born here, was kidnapped here, ended up as a California Ranger. There's always lots of stories, stories that involve the Reno brothers, the, uh, the outlaws that were actually lynched in the New Albany jail so many years ago, and then 20th century stories like Atel Karakenbach, well-remembered teachers and, and families. So as I walk along, I get to talk not only about the people that we're going to be introducing tonight, but old and well-remembered friends like the LaFalas, the oldest family in the county, and anyone else along the line that comes to mind. 